Okay, so this is Dear Bombshell, and these are questions about me that you all have been inquiring about. Um, the first question was, did your eye appointment today, did you tell them about your headaches? Do you think it's related to your headaches? They honestly think that since my eye over here is improving and this one's gotten worse, they're confused because this eye should be the one that's getting worse and this eye should be the one that stays the same. So it's confusing, but I have a habit of wearing my glasses up here. So most of the time that's probably why I have headaches. I'm my own worst enemy at a lot of things and that's one of them. Um, I, I had another cute question. Uh, did you receive any flowers or balloons for your birthday? No and no, but I never expect flowers or balloons. Uh, flowers to me, I don't, it's like that song, a Blaine Larson song that I don't see the beauty, I just see the thorns because I've been reminded about how many times the flowers represent lies and um, need to regain trust after being wronged. So I don't think that flowers would be a good thing. Balloons are nice, but my cat, even in his old age of 11, still loves to climb and gnaw on things with his teeth and try to puncture them with his paws. It probably wouldn't be smart anyway. Um, what is the most thoughtful gift a guy has ever given you? Um, that would be Mike. Um, he gave me a Vermont teddy bear that I still have. And that's that. <laughs> Next question. Um, is there anything that you thought would happen today that didn't? I have a tendency to be a romantic at heart. So I have a tendency to think that um, the impossible is possible. I guess that's a good way of putting it. And that things can be worked out. As usual, I should know better, but it is what it is. Next question. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your birthday the past two days? For the memories made with family and friends, I would have to say both, it actually, you know, it's been an amazing time off, been an amazing uh, time that I've got to spend with friends and family, and I would have to say 10. So there's that. Have you tried any of your coconut clusters? No, I have not. They are actually still in the refrigerator, still in the box. Had to move them around tonight because uh, I went through this whole thing of refilling things because tomorrow's trash day and I want to have everything out for trash by the time trash day gets here. So that's the way that goes. When you get friend requests on Facebook, do you accept them or do you keep them in a friend pile or what? That's a very good question. Um, it, it depends on a lot of factors. If I've known the person, um, do I trust the person? Do we have mutual friends? Um, can I go to one of my friends and see if they're worthy enough to making a friend? And sometimes I just leave them in the friend box and I never respond. I'm guilty of that, I will say. Um, I've had a lot of trust issues. A lot of people betray my trust. So therefore I don't, I'm not a, a person that will accept friend requests right off the bat. I've had, I've been lied to a lot of times too. So there's that. Um, next question. Hmm. How do you feel confident about your weight and size? Well, I won't lie. Um, I was a little downhearted. I thought that I was going to get my 10 pound weights from my family for my birthday and that didn't happen, but I had a beautiful, wonderful birthday and I don't have any reason to complain. So before anybody gets mad or been out of shape, thank you, family. Thank you, friends. Um, I'm probably going to be looking for my 10 pound weights so I can, you know, get to my weight level where I want to be. My workouts are not as frequent right now. And I'm being honest because I just don't feel good. 
Um, PCOS has a way of kicking my old butt now of 43. I feel like there are times that I am not gorgeous, pretty, or worthy enough of being um, wearing smaller clothing. And, you know, friends will tell me when I go shopping, hey, you need to pick out a size smaller. And for some reason, I am still self-conscious enough that I will be like, no, 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 that'd be too small. When in fact, it may be the right size. Um, I can't explain it. It's just the way I, I get worked up and worried and self-conscious. And like I said, thinking that I'm not enough. So why bother? I did wear makeup again today except for the eyeshadow and the mascara. Somebody asked me that question. Um, it's just a hopeful heart. What can you say, right? And I knew better, you know, and I should be thinking better, but it just, I don't know. I, I put hope and faith out there thinking that love would come from that, and it didn't work that way. Imagine that. don't want to answer that question. Um, it's about a, a situation that doesn't need addressed. Next question. Okay, have you finished your artwork of sunflowers? I actually got the blue background in, but I have not got the words colored, so I didn't make it to my goal of having it done by my birthday, but there's always tomorrow, right? With that, I'm going to conclude Dear Bombshell for tonight. And somebody wants me to sing Patsy. I tell you what, I will sing Patsy and do a book review for you, a start of a book review, because I know we won't finish it. And we'll go from there, okay? Love you all. Thank you for the Dear Bombshell questions. Thank you for being you. And I hope... And I pray for each and every one of you out there that you're happy and healthy, that you are living your dream, not love on the sidelines, which is one of my favorite Hallmark movies, ironically enough. One question was, how many Ryan Pavey movies did you watch? Um, Unleashing Mr. Darcy, Marrying Mr. Darcy, and A Summer Romance. What can you say? That's one reliable hunk. You can put him in the DVD player and Ryan Pavey is always there. Stay tuned. Love y'all.